we bring together people from all over the world to learn best practices, to disseminate new information, to exchange ideas, to develop new collaborations. Many of you have dedicated much of your careers to either advancing the scientific understanding of FH or dedicating yourself to the care of familial hypercholesterolemia. We hear from some fantastic speakers. Last night we had two Nobel laureates give the keynote address. We knew from the genetics that, it, that there was one gene that was causing this whole thing, one mutant gene. But it does look like it's, the LDL receptor really is its major target. It doesn't have what's called major off-target effects. It's critical to get the word out. I'm here to learn and figure out you know, how I can bring that research to our community. And it affects families. Once we find one individual in the family, we do that cascade screening and identify many, many others that are affected. The Global Summit is not only important, it's fundamental. We've been having enormous benefits. I'm a pediatric cardiologist and I think the Global Summit is important because we need to identify kids with FH early in life so we can begin treatment early and prevent cardiovascular disease and the summit really is all about doing just that. Clinicians are going to start looking more for FH in their practice because our model has good indication that there are individuals with FH in every county uh, in the United States and most of those counties have a much higher prevalence than most clinicians think there are now. Well, FH is one of the most common treatable diseases in the world. The more people know about it, the more we get together, energize ourselves, and spread the message about this disorder, the better the world will be. And it really is your work in the lab and in the clinic that successfully illustrates how science is translated into medicine and the difference it can make. We have about 25 advocates here and it gives us the opportunity to connect, share our stories and give each other hope. My family has been very affected by this disease. My son passed away in 2015. Right now I'm just happy to be here and learning about more ways to save lives.